Hey, how's it going folks? DJ with Rob School Garage again, and today we're going to finish painting um, the gas tank on the 1983 Honda CB1000 Custom. Um, I ran the, you saw the fender one yesterday, uh, front fender, so now I figured today I'm going to do the gas tank because it's the most difficult, and uh, I'll go ahead and record that for you and let you see what it looks like. So uh, let's get moving. kind of see the difference between the front fender and uh, what the gas tank looks like now and uh, I'm just not crazy about this checkering I mean I don't think it looks bad I just I don't know it I, I think it's too gaudy that, that's the best way I can put it so the, down the middle of the gas tank there will be three stripes just like on the fender and then on the side of the gas tanks here will be um, uh, a little design and then that'll all be blue and um, we'll have a Honda emblem on each side so let's uh, go ahead and get the fender out of the way and start working on the gas tank we're going to start out by doing the same thing sanding it all down and uh, getting it ready to accept some new paint What we want is to not be able to feel these checkers because they'll come out, they'll show up through the uh, blue. Alright, I went ahead and put some 120 grit sandpaper on. I should do a little bit better at uh, getting this paint leveled out. We've got it sanded down pretty good and uh, we're ready to start painting some white on here and uh, these spots you see like this that's not rust that's um, primer so yeah we're ready to go we're gonna start laying down some white here in a second okay now I forgot to tape off the uh, gas tank or cap so there I've got it taped off and now we're ready to keep painting and basically the whole thing's going to get painted white because we're not sure where the blue will need to be. So just do the whole thing white. All right, we'll let that dry a bit and then we'll come back and put it in the second coat. All right, here we go with coat two of the white. And I got a new can here. The last one was just enough to paint one coat. All right, that's uh, coat number two with the white. Well, while we're waiting on the gas tank to paint to dry, I figure I'll go ahead and uh, clean off and paint the uh, lower forks here and the bridge. So I'm just spraying it all with uh, simple green. had a brake uh, line leak so everything got kind of messy. I'm going to spray some super green on it and uh, clean it all up. All right let's let that dry for a minute and then we'll come out and tape everything off. All right I went ahead and got everything taped off so now we're going to go ahead and just spray these black real quick. This should be quick and easy. If you notice, I didn't tape off the seals because I'm going to be replacing those. All right, there we go. We got the lower uh, forks painted and uh, it's got three coats on it, so we should be good to go. And now we're going to move back to the gas tank. Okay, we're ready to start painting the blue. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Light coats. Always light coats with this paint. 
Alright, let that dry and we'll be back. That's coat one. Coat number two. Alright, coat number three is on now. Let's go for coat number four. Coat five. Alright, this will be coat six. Alright folks, that's a total of seven coats I've put on it. Um, there were some spots I just missed on the sixth coat, so I put seven on all together and uh, we should be good to go. Now we're going to let this dry and then we'll start taping it off so that we can uh, paint our black. about how it's going to go and then the Honda emblem will go right here right in the middle of this all right now we're going to lay down our, our uh, basically we're going to do that all over again um, because we want a black line in between these two so we just got the same thing as we did on the um, same thing we did on the uh, um, front fender there there I can see it better now Come on now. Play fair. There you go. One more. Alright, before we put on our third, um, what's my exact doing? Ah. Before we put on our third line, we want to take this middle one and get it ready to be taken out. So we're going to cut it along here. That one, that one, and this one. All right, we've got that side um, all taped up and ready to go to be painted. Um, I see a couple of spots where I need to add just a little tiny piece of tape, but we'll get that in before we start painting because I want to do them all at the same time. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and uh, get the stripes on the gas tank, or on the, down the middle of the gas tank. <laughs> uh, and again, I'm just guessing and estimating, not trying to be perfect with it. And again, we need a spacer, so we're going to create a spacer. And then this, these two red ones here will be pulled off once these get laid down. Okay, and now this one come off. Just like that. And we're going to stick it over here. Just gotta uh, work on the other side and put the lines on just like we did earlier on this side. Um, we need to do it over there, but uh, you saw me do the first one, so I'm not gonna bore you with this one. Okay, we've got everything taped off now, and uh, we're ready to start painting. So let's uh, get to it. You can see 
all painted or all taped off, all taped off. So uh, we're gonna start painting black now. Let's move it uh, a little bit closer to the edge so I can get the underside of it. that dry and uh, we'll come back out and put another coat on. Alright, here goes coat two. Alright, let it dry and come back for coat three. Should, should just need one more coat. Alright, let's do coat three and this should be the last coat we need to do. Alright, we'll let that dry and uh, Start pulling the tape off. Alright, let's do this drapes down a little. One. It's a neat color of blue, you don't see this very often, so that's kind of why I chose it. Which is okay, I don't mind. Give me a touch up. Okay. Next, we go. That's okay. We can get touch up on it pretty easily. Okay. And so there's the uh, stripe up the middle. And there's what the side looks like. So what we'll be doing is <clears throat> putting one of these Honda emblems probably about right there-ish. But we're going to let the paint dry some more before we even mess with that. Probably like a week or two at a minimum. Um, because if you put this on there, it kind of, the, the way the paint works is that it'll eat up the glue. And it won't stay on very well. So you got to let the glue, the uh, paint dry well. And then, well, we'll also need to sand everything down with like a thousand, two thousand grit sandpaper. And then we'll put them on um, and then clear cut the whole thing. So, yeah, there it is. What do y'all think? Look good or good? Alright, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just do a quick walk around it so you can kind of see the whole tank and its awesome glory. I like the blue paint. I think it stands out. You don't see this color very often. You know? So, try to get out of the light. There you go. That's the whole thing painted and ready to go. Uh, gonna need some touch-up, but that's fine. I'll take care of that. We're gonna let this dry for about a week or so, and, uh, then we'll sand it down with a thousand grit sandpaper and, uh, clear coat it. And add these stickers. Put them about right here-ish. Somewhere around there. So, yep, there it is. Gas tank is done. All right, folks, uh, we got the front fender painted, which we showed you in a previous video. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. But now we have the tank painted also. You can see the stripes going up the middle. And then here's what it looks like from the, uh, the side. And there'll be a Honda emblem in here. Um, but we gotta let it dry first. So that's about it. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and uh, Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. You can hit the bell button and get notified when I put out another one. I still have to do the side covers and the rear fender. 
Um, and then that'll be it as far as painting for the CB1000. So, yeah. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one. Later.